This is something that is starting to happen time and time again. A toxic tradition, a neo tradition that I'm noticing ever since Juneteenth became a federal holiday, there's always stories coming out about somebody getting shot at a Juneteenth festival. This is something that we need to break away from. And in this video, I'm gonna share two news clips with you guys, one out of Oakland and one out of Round Rock, Texas. And it's disgusting, man. It's disgusting that this is something that happened time and time again at Juneteenth festivals ever since Juneteenth became a federal holiday. But before we get into the news clips, here on Broken Traditions, we are about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you went to that kind of content, you'll have that kind of mindset, please join the movement. And by joining the movement, you can subscribe to my YouTube, you can join my Patreon, or you can become a member of my YouTube. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me stay independent when I create content. Thank you for all the channel members and all the Patreon members. Or you can find me on Rumble and you can find me on Threads and Instagram. I'm trying to build an online community of like-minded people who want to break away from toxic traditions. Also in the pinned comments, I'll leave a link to my website and you can sign up for my newsletter. You get direct emails from me when I post content, when I do live streams and when I do giveaways. Also, if you guys like my merch, I got the Broken Traditions Simplistic Hat and I also got the tra Traditions Shit in Cages Break Free Be Brave shirt. If you like the merch, you can check out the merch on brokentraditions.com. I'm not sure how to put it on my YouTube yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. As uh, me and Kofa says, we're trying to build a plane as we fly. So please be patient with me. All right, let's uh, get into this first story. I'm going to use this first story coming out of Round Rock, Texas, of a shooting that happened at a Juneteenth festival. And as always, I leave links in the description so you guys can watch these videos without my interruptions. All right, let's go. We have an active shooter. Uh, we have nine patients at this time with one CPR in progress. A Juneteenth festival held at a Round Rock Park Saturday ended in chaos. Police say a fight between two groups turned into a fatal shooting. We had innocent victims as a result of this reckless um, actions of uh, certain subjects. The park was still closed Sunday for that investigation. It's where we met Amber Megans, who's been a nurse for more than a decade. She was one of the hundreds of people at the festival. We began walking up to head to our car and out the corner of my eye, I see a civilian giving CPR. Megan says she didn't know about the shooting, but stumbled into the aftermath. She says festival goers worked to keep people who had been shot alive. One woman she saw, Megan's doesn't believe survived. I noticed that she had entry points on her abdomen. Um, I had asked them, I was like checking for a pulse. The lady that, there was a lady that was holding her head and she's like, I've been sitting here and I have not felt a pulse at all. An event meant to celebrate and bring community together ended in disaster and heartbreak. I seen the loved ones, they were there, they're trying to keep them back. And yeah, that was really, I, I really fell for them. Grace Reader, KXAN News. All right, so you seen that, you heard that, right? So that happened in Round Rock. You hear the nurse who was on the scene speaking about what happened. Um, I didn't inter interrupt it. I, I let it flow. But if you paid attention to my face, I I'm disgusted by this because as a content creator, right, when you do research and you find out information, what's going on within, you find out what's going on within the, the realms of the videos that you want to use, you know, what's going to ex expect it to come next. And I usually don't share that kind of information while I'm <laughs> recording, but I know the story of the woman that was on the ground. And I want to share that with you guys to kind of bring home the severity of what happened of this disgusting crime. So from what I understand, a fight broke out and people started shooting and innocent people got hit. I want to share the story of the woman who got hit. <sighs> so sad, man. So sad. The Mansfield mother killed during a Juneteenth celebration in Central Texas over the weekend is being remembered as a loving, giving, and selfless friend. She was one of two people killed and 14 people wounded. Fox Force Dion Anglin has more. She was a very humble spirit, a very kind person, super highly intelligent. Words to describe Lindsay Vicknair, an innocent bystander shot and killed Saturday night at a Juneteenth celebration in Central Texas. 
the Vigneers were actually in the Juneteenth parade that morning. Lindsay's husband, Kevin, was with her at the celebration when they heard gunshots and his wife was caught in the crossfire. You know, I, I don't know, maybe my sensitivity to stories like this really gets me because I'm married and this is so messed up, man. You, your wife, and your children are going to a festival for Juneteenth, a celebration of freedom, a holiday for black people, basically, right? This holiday for black people. And this man lost his wife by the hands of a black man at a festival from black people. This, these children lost a mother for a festival for black people by the hands of a black person. Black children no longer have their mother. A black husband no longer have his wife. How is Juneteenth becoming this type of celebration or this type of stage for people to fuck around and shoot people? Every year since Juneteenth became a federal holiday, every year since they started this, there's been stories time and time again, people losing their lives, innocent people losing their lives. Let's continue on this video, man. He performed CPR, trying to save her. Help just didn't arrive in time. It just didn't arrive in time. Fam seeing that man, yo, yo, I, I'm, I'm seeing that man, knowing that he's doing all he can to save his wife. The person that he's supposed to protect. And it's not, I'm not saying that he did something wrong. It's just, it's a stupid ass mindset that we have that we keep continuously, continuously shooting each other up at a Juneteenth event. You, you open fire at a Juneteenth event with hundreds of people. And this woman now lost her life. Let's continue. I want you, I want you to hear about this woman because family friend Candace Cooper remembers how they connected through the track club she co-founded, Austin Honey Badgers. We became a village for her children. She says the Vicnair family with their three small children got involved with the group two years ago when they moved from Mansfield here in North Texas to the Austin area. That's the ideal American. That's black excellence. You got your children, you involved in what they're involved in. You are professional, you married. You within the community, and some bitch as pulls a trigger and take this woman's life. Let's continue on. She was a lawyer, and so you don't typically see, you know, a lot of attorneys that are are willing to 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 get get be outside all day with children and wanting to even more so get involved. Cooper says their bond was instantaneous and Lindsay was a genuine pillar of support. Typically when our volunteers are finished with the gate, then they pretty much go sit down and watch their kiddos, but not Lindsay. So she was, okay, what else do you need me to do? Okay, so what else? Police say two people were killed and 14 others injured when two groups began fighting and shooting during the outdoor festival. She said, I'm hit. I said, you hit? I'm like, where? So uh, I start to put, that's why I pull out the chair. I'm like, uh, I'm throwing the chair, holding over one hand, I'm moving the chair out uh, with the other. And I feel it, uh, oh, she's hit. And I felt it uh, wet, wet on her back. Lindsay Vignair's three small children are seven, four, and one. The, the entire family is, is, of course, they are um, sad, but there is a, a sense of, of strength that, that I've seen um, with this family that, that's just, I, I, that honestly is admirable. Dion Anglin, Fox 4 News. Man, you seen that, you heard that, man. So out there, like I said, in the, in the Dallas area, where this woman lost her life, man. 
Let's take it up north. Let's take it to a situation that happened in Oakland. So this is in Oakland now. Uh, another shooting at a Juneteenth festival in Oakland. And I don't know, man. It just, it's disgusting. It's disgusting that this is where people decide to, I guess, do their crime at Juneteenth Festival. So let's check out this video. Police officers, multiple ambulances, and several city blocks closed after violence erupts during a Juneteenth celebration. Next thing you know, we all thought that we heard fireworks. So what we did was we ran from this direction. Next thing you hear, um, another boom, 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 boom from the other side of the lake. Reports of a shooting tonight at Oakland's Lake Merritt. Good evening, I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebeck. Let's get right to KTVU's Amber Lee with the very latest on this breaking news that started around 8.45 tonight. Amber, what's going on right now? Mike, we could see a massive police presence out here. Behind me, I counted at least two dozen police patrol cars. And beyond my line of sight, you can tell with the flashing lights, there are plenty more in the area. Now, the mood has been very chaotic, confrontational. I've seen participants in this Juneteenth celebration uh, get confrontational with police verbally. When we first arrived, we saw one man who was conscious being taken away in an ambulance. Now, we have unconfirmed reports that there were at least four people who were injured, possibly from gunshot wounds, and one person may have been struck by a car. And Oakland, Juneteenth celebration, four people shot and somebody got hit by a car. And y'all out here arguing with the police. Let's continue on. Now let's hear what the witness had to say about when things started turning violent. It began to be a slideshow. It was a couple of fights that were uh, going off, but it didn't really happen. Next thing you know, we all thought that we heard fireworks. So what we did was we ran from this direction. Next thing you hear, um, Another boom, 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 boom from the other side of the lake. We come down here, we're walking, and my sister sprints across the street where she's seen one of her friends were laying out, choking on his blood. We all came out here to celebrate our culture. Our <laughs> That's not normal to be seeing stuff like that. That's not normal. Just now I'm seeing your friend choking on a blood. I didn't see any reports of anybody who lost their life. So hopefully these people are still living and this is something they have to go through, but not in their life. But let's continue on. Freedom. You see people are still out here singing and dancing. This is not fun. Just two, two or three years ago, this happened. <laughs> like I said, ever since this holiday became a national holiday or federal holiday, this has been going on all across the, all across the country. Happening now, Oakland, we see Dallas area, Dallas Fort Worth area. This has been happening time and time again. And this young lady saying that this happened, what, two or three years ago in the same area. Why is y'all keep shooting up Juneteenth events? And it seems to be a repeating cycle. It needs to be some kind of change in the community. But I pray for the people that might have been lost. I hope that they weren't. This is crazy. This is getting absolutely crazy that people are losing their lives at Juneteenth events. People are getting shot and ran over at Juneteenth events. How is this constantly happening time and time again? If you look back at my channel, there's other videos of me speaking about this. Every year since Juneteenth became a federal holiday, if it's not on this channel, it was on my last channel before I got demonetized. What do y'all think about this, man? I think that this is absolutely crazy that people are getting shot at Juneteenth events. Black people getting shot by black people at Juneteenth events. This is crazy, dog. This is crazy. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. If you like this kind of content, please consider hitting subscribe while I'm on my grind to get 10,000 subscribers. Also, if you like this kind of content, check out this other video. All right, man. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.